Well, Logos has released version 10 of their software. I've been a longtime user of Logos, and in this review, I'm going to tell you some of the features that they have come out with in this recent update to Logos and whether or not this is worth the upgrade for you. Now, I've been using Logos 10 here for a few weeks. Logos sent me a copy of this software in exchange for a review. I've been using the software in general since 2007, so I've been a longtime user of Logos. As a full-time minister, I tend to have this software open on my computer at all times. I use it for Bible study for sermon preparation. And when you purchase Logos, you're really purchasing two things. One, you're getting a digital library of books and resource tools to help you in your study and ministry preparation. And you're also getting a series of tools that will help and make that study a lot easier. But I want to tell you about one of the killer features in this new software. So here are some of the things that they're telling us are new in Logos version 10. Fresh design that centralizes the focus on Bible study. All right, let's check that out over here to Logos and let's open a quick layout. Now, one of the nice things is when you upgrade, it is going to have everything that you're used to in there once you log in. In fact, when I upgraded to Logos 10, it even brought up my current search and Bible study that I was doing, so nothing was changed, that's nice. One of the things you'll see here is the toolbar is over on the left now. If you don't like that, you can move it back up to the top. That's available in the settings. So it does have a more modern and sleek look. I don't know if that's a value for upgrading, but I think it looks pretty cool. Let's see what else they're saying here. Fastest version of Logos we've ever created. Uh, it wasn't slow for me before, so I haven't particularly noticed that. I've got a three-year-old MacBook Pro that I'm running this off. I haven't had any issues with it being slow. Print library catalog. All right. This is the feature we want to check up, check out. This is the one that I think may be worth the upgrade if you're interested. So if you're like me and you've been using Bible study software, you also have a number of print resources. So you look behind me here, I've got uh, hundreds of books that I use as well in print version. Wouldn't it be nice if you could search those books with Logos Bible study software without having to go and purchase the digital copy? Let's check this out and see if we can do it. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna try an example here. I grabbed Recovering Biblical Manhood and Womanhood. This is a John Piper and Wayne Grudem resource. And let's go over to the library. And if I search for Recovering Biblical Manhood, it's giving me a whole bunch of books that I could purchase here. So here's the book that I'm talking about. Now, because I own a copy of this, I can now add this to my print library. And what this is gonna allow me to do, it's actually gonna allow me to search that resource Actually, let's go back there, let's open it. Let's open that, okay. It won't let me read it, it's only gonna give me a preview version. So one of the things you're seeing here is I could actually purchase it for $18, but I already have the print version, so why go ahead and do that? It gives me a little preview down here, but what I really wanna show you is this search feature, how we can now search this resource. So over here, we're in search, we're gonna to go to books, and we are gonna search for all open resources because I have recovering biblical manhood and womanhood open and let's find a page in here that we can search for the correlation of role and attitude let's search for that let's see if we can find that all right here we go correlation of role and attitude page 346 and let's see, there we go. Correlation of role and attitude. So this is extremely handy. I'll, this is a 500 page book and I have not read the entire thing. I've referenced it a little bit and honestly, this would be quite a bear to chew on. So if you have a lot of resources like that, for example, I have some commentaries behind me. This is now gonna allow me to add those to my library. And when I'm doing searches on specific topics or subjects, it is going to come up in those search terms. Extremely help, helpful. It's going to give you the page number. You can then go grab that book, open and read it while you're doing the Bible study. Let me know in the comments what you think about that feature. Is that something that you would use? Is that something that is worth the upgrade to you? So let's talk pricing real quick. You can see here they have a number of feature sets. If you just want to add some of the Logos 10 features, you can do an upgrade. That'll cost you anywhere from $70 to 259. You can look on the website. I'm gonna link in the description. You can go to this new Logos 10 upgrade package and depending on what you have, you can look at the upgrade price. Now, if you don't have Logos at all yet, you can bring up that pricing here. 
They have a number of packages that you can choose. You can get a starter package for anywhere around $300 with some of these Logos 10 features all the way up to, hey, if you're really feeling spicy, you can spend over $10,000 on the collector's edition. Now, I would say this, if you're in full-time ministry and you're doing Bible study on the regular, I think software like this is well worth it. If you're not in ministry, but you like to study the Bible and the financial situation is not a problem for you, again, I think this is well worth it. But if you're on a tighter budget and you'd say, I'd like to do Bible study, but I'm not sure I want to put that much money in it, I would recommend one of these starter sets. It's going to give you some of the tools. And then the other nice thing is you can build your library over time. They put out free books every single month. And on your birthday, they'll send you a credit for uh, $20 off any book that you want to purchase. That's one of the ways that I have built my library over time. But also I would say this, if you don't have the funds to spend on something like Logos 10, this is certainly a first world Bible study situation. You can go to some, some websites like Bible Gateway, where you can do a lot of similar searching and some of the study tools that you have in Logos. Now it's basically a fraction of what you can do in Logos, and it may take a little bit longer. But if you wanna study the Bible and you don't wanna put a lot of money down, let me challenge you to start there. Go to somewhere like BibleGateway.com. But overall, I've been very impressed. I'm gonna to continue to use this. You also, when you purchase Logos, you can use the app on your phone or on your iPad. I tend to, when I wanna read a Logos book, get it on the iPad and I read there and you can search and do all those same same type of tools digitally as well. well. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to check out Logos, click the link in the description. This is Jason for Soulfire, and I'll catch you in the next one.